Research has shown that to be able to retrieve information, our brain must first encode it in a logical way. When our brain receives new material, it places a tag in order for it to be easily recalled in the future. We were looking at the encoding specificity phenomenon, which incorporates the context and the environment during simple memory tasks. We were interested in how color of words shown on a screen in front of the subjects and the color of the ink on a testing sheet had an effect on the congruency score. For example, out of seven total red words, how many were remembered when the ink on the test sheet was red? We were also interested if the method of presentation of the words had an effect on the number of words remembered as well. There were two conditions that the participants were randomly selected for. Condition one was list presentation, where all 21 words were shown on one PowerPoint slide for 90 seconds. Condition two was individual presentation and had each of the 21 words on separate slides shown at three second intervals. All participants were shown the same 21 words with the same ratio of colors, seven red, seven blue, and seven green. The participants were split up into three subgroups in each condition, depending on the color of the ink on the test that they were given. After they had seen the words, they were given two minutes to complete a short maze to prevent rehearsal of the words that they were shown. Participants were then given three minutes to write down as many of the words that they could remember. We did not tell participants to focus on the color of the words on the screen or the color of their test because we wanted to see the effect that color had on memory subconsciously. A 2 by 3 between groups in NOVA was conducted to evaluate the effects of method of presentation and text color on congruency scores. The results of the ANOVA indicated a non-significant main effect for color, a non-significant main effect for method of presentation, and a non-significant interaction between color and method of presentation. Our hypothesis that the number of color congruent words would be higher than the non-congruent words was not supported. We actually saw an opposite effect, where more non-color congruent words were remembered on average. Additionally, our hypothesis about the list presentation yielding a higher number of recalled words was also not supported. Having only 77 participants leads us to believe that this research project could be done with more participants and could have yielded different results. Overall, color and method of presentation resulted in statistically non-significant findings. However, we know because of previous research, encoding specificity occurs during the learning and recollection of information. Further research could be done to determine if one color is a stronger tag than others, if color is a strong enough tag in general, or if the method of presentation affects the learning process separately from encoding specificity.